everybody, Melissa Bender here, and this is my workout of the day. I already went through this workout one time interval style, plus I did a quick light run this morning, so all of that will be on my blog. Also, check back a little bit later, I will be talking about my diet, the types of foods I eat, and I will post some pictures on my blog as well. So, let's get started with today's workout. The very first exercise I did today is a single leg lunge jump. So what you're gonna do is step forward into a lunge position. And normally when we do lunge jumps, we switch our feet in the air. Well, we're gonna stay in this position and just bounce up and down in a pulsing motion. And you can either do this as repetitions, and I'll have the breakdown for that on my site, or you can do it interval style and do max work, max reps during each 50 second round with only 10 seconds break in between. So what you want to do is come down, knee stays above your ankle, your toe, knee never goes past your toes, your back leg is bent, you're on your toes, and your knee is slightly above the ground, and you're going to jump up. Whoop. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14. Okay, same exercise on the other side. So step forward with your left foot, knee directly above your ankle, back knee is bent just a couple inches above the ground, and again, jump and pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. For my next exercise, I'm doing mountain climber push ups. So you come down into the plank position, just like you would for a normal push-up, but you're gonna drive your knees to your chest. One, two, three times, push up. That's one. One, two, three, push up. That's two. Three. Four. Keep your form on your push-up good. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine. The next exercise is a three way lunge. So you start out with your feet together, you take a nice big step forward so that when you bend your back knee, your right knee bends and stays directly above your ankle. Weight should be in your heels, so you should be able to lift your toes if you need to and then you're gonna step back to center. Then you're gonna to step to the right. Again, nice big step, knee stays behind your toe, weight should be in your heel, back to center, and then step backwards until your knee almost touches the ground in the back. Center, that's one round. So I'll show you from the side. That's two. That's three. Same thing with your left leg. So big step, knee above your ankle, chest is lifted, gaze is straight ahead. Step back, that's one left, chest stays lifted, knee stays behind your toes, back to center. That's one. Two. Three. Four. The next exercise is a side plank oblique drop. So come up onto your right arm. Stack your feet one on top of the other. This hand can come behind your head. Keep your elbow pointed at the ceiling. You're going to drop to touch the floor and then raise it up as high as you can. That's one, two, three. Make sure you breathe. Four. Five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. You're going to repeat that on your left side. So left hand plants directly below your shoulder, feet stack one on top of the other, elbow points to the ceiling and your hand comes behind your head and drop, lift, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Next I'm doing V-ups. So lay on your back, uh, low back presses into the ground, shoulder blades lift, shoulders stay relaxed, arms extend above your head, make sure you have a space between your shoulders and your ears, and then you're going to stretch your legs out, lift, and reach toward your toes. That's one. Bring it down, lift, and reach. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Next, you're going to turn over, come onto your hands and knees. Your hands should be directly below your shoulders, fingers spread. You're going to start by lifting your right leg, keeping it bent, flexing your foot so your heel is going to press toward the ceiling. And you want to press, keeping your back as still as you can. That would be one. We don't want this, where you're bending your back. You really want to isolate your glutes. So three, four, five, six. Seven, keep pressing that heel all the way up. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Repeat that on your left side. So left leg lifts, foot flexes, and you're gonna press that heel to the ceiling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17. Next exercise is a chair pulse. So bring both feet together. You're going to bend your knees, stick your butt out so you're going to act like you're sitting in the chair behind you. Hands are going to clasp. You can either keep them clasped or point one finger at the ceiling if that's a good guide for you. Shoulders relax. Bend down, pushing your butt backwards like you could sit in a chair while keeping your butt or your chest lifted. And then you're going to pulse down like you're sitting and come up just enough to feel the sides of your glutes squeezing and pulling your butt in tight. And then back down. That's two. Squeeze, three. Squeeze, four, five. And squeeze, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Keep your knees together. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Next, I am doing bicycle abs, so working your abs from every angle. Again, lay on your back, press your low back into the ground, shoulder blades lift, your hands can clasp and come behind your head. You're going to lift your knees and bend them, bring opposite elbow to opposite knee, so left elbow to right knee, and trying to get this right elbow to reach toward the corner of your mat. And then switch. One, and two, and three, four, and five, and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Next four. ab exercise is a hip lift. So your low back presses into the ground. Shoulder blades lift again, arms stretch, shoulders stay relaxed. And you're going to bring your feet up at an angle and then bring them up until your hips lift. Slightly down and up, that's two three, four, and you can bring your arms forward if you want to add to the mo movement, six, seven, controlled movements, don't use too much momentum, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
Fourteen. Now I'm doing a weighted oblique drop. I have a 10 pound kettlebell. I'm going to hold it in my right hand first. Salute. So your elbow points straight out to the side. Now I'm going to drop my weight to the right until my elbow points up toward the ceiling, keeping my hips still. And then I'm going to come all the way up and over until my elbow points to the floor. That's one. Two. Control your movement. Three. Keep your hips still. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Same thing on the other side. So right hand is up. You are going to drop over to your left until your elbow points to the ceiling and then come up until your elbow points to the floor. That's one. Two. Three. Really stretch that weight toward the floor. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Okay, I hope you're ready to end on a high note. And by high, I mean jumping high up to the ceiling in burpees. <laughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to squat down, put both hands on the floor, and jump your feet out to a plank position. Abs pull in tight. Your back stays nice and straight. And you're going to drop your chest until you can touch it to the floor or get close. Come up. Jump your feet forward and touch the ceiling if you can. That's one. Two. Three. Four. That's it for my workout today. Everything you need to know will be on my site, benderfitness.com, all the information, number of reps, how many times I made it through everything. Um, and don't forget, click the subscribe button if you like what you see and you want to get updated on new workouts, you can subscribe to my YouTube or to my blog or both. <laughs> so I will hope to see you tomorrow with a brand new workout. Have a good day.